hosts in that hotel, it's you being looked for, yet you never went there. Somebody right. uh, used your name. So that's right. why uh, we must also protect journalists through uh, uh, that, uh, that. A number of them, obviously, are former colleagues right. who either lost jobs or something. They're also trying to survive. But, but I believe there are better ways of surviving right. than stealing or using people's name to do criminal activities. Exactly. Uh, be, be, before we talk about uh, before we talk about how we can ensure that we have a quality control uh, of, of of good journalism, of course, in terms of content and production as well. Uh, in my mind, I'm asking myself, what is now the future of the gutter press and and the rest of them all? Because maybe some of them don't even have a person that they can refer to before they go and get accredited by the Media Council of Kenya. They are independent. They're operating as independent. You know, maybe writers, bloggers, YouTubers as well, or just people who critique content. But you know, they all also consider themselves as journalists they and of not. course you realize they have also a massive following on social media and people are used to feeding from them what happens to them See, now going forward Brian the fact that you think you can give somebody Panadol does not make you a doctor the fact that you, you know you don't assign yourself whether you are journalist or not the journalism in Kenya is defined by law the things you meet so you waking up and imagining you are a journalist because you can do YouTube or that's not make Right. But we know there are people who are bloggers who make you who are genuine journalists. But we also know people who are there who are not. So journalism, you don't define yourself. The Media Council Act of 2013 defines who is a journalist, and that's by law. So you must meet those requirements. So 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 whether you can produce content or not does not make you a journalist. You know. Right. So so people. Everybody must have well. the numbers commanding the attention of almost. Competitive stations as well. Uh, that does Without not make accreditation you a, from the MCK, you're uh, not. That, that does not make you a journalist. Okay. A journalist, journalist is a profession. A profession one is defined one by a code of ethics for practice. Yeah. So Maybe they fall under those code of ethics. They don't. Well. Let me tell you who, who makes a, a profession. And it has been a it's a global debate for many right. years. Even in the UK, when you are applying for a passport as a journalist, you are never allowed as a profession. But journalism has grown. In the U.S., it took a lot of time to recognize journalists as a profession. As a profession. But journalism is a profession, one with a code of ethics for the practice. It's given the, uh, the second schedule of the Media Council Act. It has 25 articles. Journalism has theories of training. You, you, there are theories, and some of you have gone to journalism, you know. Yeah. Then journalism has a systematic way of examining and joining. Right. There's an exam you do before you become a journalist. So you of don't course. just wake up in your bed and say, because I'm good, in, I have a good voice, I'm yeah. a journalist. Right. You can be a content creator, you can be a storyteller, that does not make you a journalist. Right. You know? And journalists deal with the news. Exactly. Journalists do not deal with information, or this thing now you are calling storytelling. Those are not right. journalism. Journalism is right. where you deal with the news. Right. So, and those are some of the dynamics. That, that, that people are feeling. You might say uh, uh, online, and we have too many people who go online uh, who are competing journalism. But, but statistics, and you can check Communication Authority of Kenya releases statistics every time. Right. People who go online largely are, uh, are the ages of 15 to 35, I right. mean, who you call youth. You start noticing a number of them go online to look for information, not for news. Now, information can be a student who is in the university looking for material for their thesis. And there's, so there's a huge, again, difference between information and news. Right. And, and that's why uh, uh, many times when we discuss, people talk about mobile journalists, you citizen yeah. journalists. And recently you said even very soon, uh, journalist phones will be now... Uh, there are official uh, as, gadgets for looking for information. For but information. Right. Uh, there's nothing called mobile journalism or citizen journalism. Mm -hmm. Journalism is just journalism. We are just looking for beauty names. Because okay. why don't you call a Juakali guy in Kamukunji citizen engineer? I mean, right. because, I mean, so we are introducing so many things that, that just matter. But journalism is just journalism. But things like fonts are tools right. for people to work. Okay. So, so, so uh, and we are already advised even the police that a, a, a phone is an official tool for journalists to do their work. Right. Because you can record. You can write notes, you can right. uh, do all. So, so uh, increasingly, uh, people must change. And that's why we're telling the issue of perception. Right. We're talking about you, the perception of KBC, for example. Right. KBC is a public broadcaster. But for many years, people think KBC is a state broadcaster. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but that's not the case. And this has continued because once you call KBC a state broadcaster, then even advertisers, other people start looking at it as a state uh, government controlled, so they will never bring adverts. Yet you know, I know, KBC is a public broadcaster. Right. You know, so we must also increasingly deal with the issue of perception. How do right. people look at media? Right. Like I told you, media is an industry. 
that it generates income, employs people. Media is now has employed people with who have skills, graduates, and the rest. Right. Media is no longer you go to a press conference if you have ever gone to one. Unasikia watu wanasema hii watu ya media watu ya media wako wapi you know very right. derogatory name media media yeah. what is media media right. just media you know so we must consistently help people understand that media is, is a profession is an industry that right. has employed people and that generates look at how much money some of these companies uh, media companies nation is listed on the, uh, on the Nairobi stock exchange standard is listed royal media is private but look at the, the much money they pay in terms of taxes to government so right. people must respect media as an industry. Media right. is not just journalists who write stories. In right. this, for you to produce this program, you are a journalist, but you have IT guys, you have technologies, you have produced, you know, it's yeah. a whole set it's of people who are involved group. in this thing. Right, yeah. So media is not journalism alone. Right. And that's why we have journalists, we have media practitioners, right. we have media workers, Right. Because for you to go and work, there must be a driver to take you to, to that work, you know. So, so, so th th this all these categories, they are pro the program controllers, they are producers, people who never even did journalism, right. but they are involved. So people must expand their understanding of what media is, uh, both as an industry that creates employment, but more importantly, as the fourth estate. There's a reason why media was called a fourth estate, right. as a big uh, uh, player in national development, in watchdogging and, 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 and the rest and setting the agenda around national uh, conversation of public interest issues. Right. So if, if people start respecting that and, and stop looking at journalists, at these people who come here, we give them 200 and they go and write stories, right. then the conversation the will start changing. The perception changes. changes. Now, since you mentioned that, even uh, for us here, what do you think are some of the solutions from where you sit, even from the Media Council of Kenya, that can help re-strategize and maybe uh, help in revamping uh, the operations, even in terms of programming and quality control as well. One of the bigger things, and which we have said is, even you who work here must start appreciating the fact that KBC is a public broadcaster, not a state broadcaster. Because that, that thinking, that change in, change in culture and understanding would help you start looking at things in a bigger way. That you don't, don't serve only the state, much as you, you are supported by the state, but you don't only serve, but you serve state and others. It's a public broadcaster. And that one must be calculated in people who work here. That, 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 both, I mean, throughout the staff, that people must appreciate that, yes, you are supported by government fully, but you are serve the public. That is one of the things. Obviously, the issue of, 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 of supply and demand. A number of times, we are looking at the supply of news. Okay. Uh, do we have equipment? Do we have this? Uh, yeah. Do we have people? Do we have equipment? Do we have computers? We are spending very little time on programming. The demand. Who is demanding for our news? Yeah. Who wants our news? But there's also the cost for that. But, but, but you see, uh, a cost must come, obviously. But if you have the demand for your service, you cannot be complaining about cost. If you have opened a kiosk and people demand your sodas more, why would you be complaining about capital to buy? Okay. So, so we must look at also who is demanding for our content. Because we are talking about content being the, the, the main business for any media outlet is the content you are selling. Right. Now, you must look at, and you mentioned uh, audience segmentation. Yeah, who audience wants, segmentation, who yeah. wants your content and at what time? Right. You know, that we must invest in research and establish. Do we have content that speaks to the people we are targeting? That's very important. Because a number of times I've seen uh, not just KBC, but, but we have lost in terms of content. Are we giving content that our consumers are interested in right. or not? So that's one area we must invest in. You, you remember, and I did a training for KBC staff uh, at some stage with the BBC Action on audience-led programming. Are right. we doing audience, are we doing programming aware of the audience needs, what our audience needs? So right. the issue of feedback and integration of audiences in our programming, in our program, in our, in our content production becomes very critical. So that's one area. So research, reorienting of how do we involve audiences in our program? Do we program with audiences in our mind? Right. So that we give people the, 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 the audience they need. Right. Do we have we invested in quality? You talked about quality control. Right. Have we invested in employing the people with the right attitude and qualification? Right. And are we going to get people with the quality qualification if we are not paying them well? Right. So the issue of welfare, the issue of salaries, the issue of motivating the staff so that we attract the best becomes the best. 
Uh, right. One of the issues that we are investing in staff who can then give us that quality content that people want. But right. it, we can't get quality content, but staff by staff who are demotivated, by staff who are not paid well. Yeah. So we must invest. Then obviously once we look at the, that demand side, we now start talking about supply side. Where is the money to get the quality staff? Where is the money to get quality content? Right. Then obviously KBC is funded no. by state. It might not be enough, obviously, but there, by KBC has also resources, right. you know, which it can use. But like we mentioned, the resources are never enough. Right. The issue of going up aggressive uh, fundraising and partnerships. You can have a program on youth which you partner with an institution that is interested in youth affairs. Right. You can have a program on sports where you have people who are interested in sports. So right. the issue of aggressively looking for partners, uh, people who are interested, there's now a whole branch of journalism called philanthropy journalism. Right. And people are now funding things like climate change, mental health and the rest. So right. we must also have people who can look out for these resources because the resources will not come to look for you here. Right. You, we must have a team that is dedicated, resource mobilization, right. and the rest. But at the same time, within the bigger review of the laws, like now uh, you have seen the cabinet secretary had mentioned many times, the right. issue of KBC uh, revitalization of KBC is critical to government and they, I'm sure they are working on it. But right. part of it also is to look for partners who can help KBC in some of, uh, some of the work they are doing. So, 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 so th th there's a lot of opportunity, aware that there are also challenges. Uh, the industry generally, globally, is going through challenges just like other industries are going through. Right. But, but, but that must allow, uh, the challenges must allow for creativity and innovation right. so that we are not going to close down KBC because the, right. the global challenges are there. We must look for ways right. of sustaining through partnerships, Right. through uh, revamping our programs. I mean, right. KBC has all, uh, all nearly 10 or so vernacular radio stations, mm -hmm. which other media houses are using. How do you utilize that? There's a whole bunch of now local content. Right. People are interested in local content. So right. there must also be effort. And remember, production of local content is very expensive. Yeah. So partnerships with people who can help us produce local content become, because local content much as is very expensive, but it has huge volume more than showing us Mexican operas and old films, bold and beautiful, which is when right. even the actors died. <laughs> but we are still showing us much as a skip. But although but, but the, the value, public requested for it, you know, which public? Also, did? this Legends Edition. They, they say we want to see, you know, the original. The, the public, here on the, the station, public, you know? the public who are demanding for it, do they pay? Also, they should demand and pay. <laughs> you know, because it. content must attract either an advertiser right, or a person okay. who is paying for it. So okay. what I'm saying is that we must gradually, because from other places we have seen, local content has a huge following. Right. So, so we must, though it's also very expensive, to, but we can partner with others okay. uh, uh, to produce that uh, local content. We must invest in journalists. Mm -hmm. We must invest in the, both the supply and wow. demand side of media. It's not a, a small solution, but right. people are thinking about it. I know next week on 8th, there's a, a meeting of all media owners, uh, editors, right. um, me, media council, advertisers, PRSK, on about, think about how we can revamp the industry. You right. saw last week, Tanzania uh, established a whole task force to right. look at what is happening in the media industry. Right. So these things are happening. People are not sleeping, obviously. Uh, I've told you uh, the government is working on reviving KBC. So, so people know the importance of the media. Okay. But it also calls upon you journalists who, are, who get the opportunity to work in the media to also remember you are doing work of public nature. Okay. Many of you also have started using media to you your private interests. So like that's what also... what exactly? <laughs> no, you, you will call a governor to look for a job for your cousin, not to look... Not to, you will call a Lusaka to look for a job for your cousin instead of calling Lusaka to talk about devolution in Bungoma. You know, so many of us, well, it's not wrong... <laughs> Uh, if you, he can help you. But many of us are using also these media spaces for our public gain, uh, for our private gain more than public interest. That's why our content many times does not speak to public interest. And, right. and, and, and once we meet that, it also starts bringing the challenge of losing uh, viewers and, and, and audiences. So we must also understand that does our, 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 uh, our content then speak to public interest? Does yeah. it interest the public? I'm okay. a too. Right. That reminds me, there's a theory in journalism school called uh, uh, the hypodermic needle theory yes. uh, that, that explains media as an injection that injects ideas, you know, stimulates conversation, creates a narrative that people should mm. follow. Now, in, in regards to this year, in terms of meeting serious programming for 2023, do you think from where you sit we are going to meet the standards for this year? The opportunity is there. If you miss it, 
we will blame you. But the opportunity of getting quality content that can speak to your audience is there. Because like I mentioned, journalism is a creative art. Journalism is not just to come here and host Victor for 10 minutes and then you walk away. You do all other errands during the whole day. You have no time for journalism itself. And then you call yourself a journalist. You must spend time to create. You must get yourself to be creative, to look for creative content. That requires your attention. Right. Averagely, journalists spend an hour in their work. They once they come here, read a news bulletin or bring their news, they disappear to other. Uh, they become brokers in other things, but they call them, they, they spend, they don't spare time for their work. So if people can sit down and think, KBC has a whole department of research, it has other people to support it, why can't you guys sit down, among other things, and look for that? Because the opportunities are there. I mean, we are already seeing other media houses that are doing what? Coming back, they started making profit, others, uh, while uh, within those challenges. I believe the opportunities there, KB, just like any other media house, that the opportunities are there, it's just you colleagues to have and spend time, become sincere and, and loyal employers who can spend time to support your management uh, in terms of coming up with creative ideas, creative programs. And because remember, most of this program is you. It's not the editor-in-chief who comes here to tell you what you do. He has already employed and given space. It's you to think and help your editor-in-chief achieve what they're looking for. Go and give them story ideas, story program ideas. I am sure they will support you. Right. But, but if you guys are just coming and reporting in the morning and waiting to be told by the editor-in-chief or the MD what to do, many of you still uh, come on time. You come here and the rest of the day you spend on, on Google doing your private work and, uh, and you, are, you are stealing for Then we will not get reach there. But if we spend time and also, Brian, look at yourself in terms of career growth. Is what you are doing will it enable you to grow in journalism? Or you are just here to pass time and get your salary, you may feel a mission, you know. Many of us have no ambition. Right. Uh, we I got a job. In right. But there are people who are ambitious, who are here, who are thinking they never sleep about how they will grow in their career. Right. And, 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 and that's the, the thing we are saying, that there also must be commitment from we journalists in terms of, you already have an opportunity in KBC. How many right. people do you go to class who never got jobs here? Right. Quite a number. Have you ever looked at it that this is an opportunity I got? How do I utilize it? Right. But many of us are, are stuck with the book of lamentation. How about crying? How journalism <laughs> is bad? You know, so, so, so we must spend our time and spare right. time for our profession, for yeah. it to grow. It is not going to be solved by other professionals who right. will come and solve it as a media industry. Right. Now, uh, we, we spoke of audiences and we spoke of audience segmentation. Of course, uh, we as a public broadcasters, we have, uh, we have our own audience. If we want to retain our audience this year and say, us as Y244, this is what we are going for. What do you think are some of the things we need to do so that we, we capture our audience forever and, and never make them go away? I've just mentioned to you the issue of in, 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 in investing in research. Because you cannot sit in KBC here and know your audience needs. You know, that journalism of giving people what they want and what they need are too different. Because some of us are stuck in giving journalists what they want, uh, in giving the audience what they want. Yet we need to give our audiences what they need. Today, people are surviving the, 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 the movement and now it is, there's a global uh, challenge, uh, poverty levels and the rest. It's a global thing. People are looking for programs that can, for example, we are talking about solution-based journalism. Are we just criticizing? Are we just criticizing, problems, or yeah. are we criticizing then offering an alternative? We are saying right. we as a country, or this is a profession we have not done here, but this is how other countries have done and moving on. Or, or right. County A, maybe right. Bongoma has not done well in health, right. but we have seen Garissa is doing well. What can uh, Bongoma borrow from? You know, you, you, you are giving people some some alternatives, some alternatives to what they do because generally people have lost hope. Generally, it's not just in Kenya alone because of the global challenge. So people want, right now, the story is no longer about whether COVID is now or not. Right. The issue is, if you get COVID, how do you survive? <laughs> because right. it, it's factual, COVID is there, it was there. So, right. you, might, you know, when people are talking about other challenges, it's a fact that, that, that this week is school fees. So saying how, how parents will complain, but what else do they do? You know, so people are looking for alternatives, content that also inspires hope, content that gives people something to live for it becomes right. and now obviously because if you do you look at the studies a lot of our stories are on crime deaths killings and i mean the abductions bad, you know yeah, but, mismanagement but, but, of government uh, funds and but, people, but there are yeah. also a few things that are working 
Right. So how do we also inspire the people who just want also to hear how Brian is surviving in respect of these challenges, how is he surviving? Right. So there are people who just want to hear that. A border border who is just doing well, they formed a circle and they are surviving. A border border in Kajiado, they are doing well. How does a border border in Busia borrow that? Right. Uh, some, some, some welfare, people are doing urban planning, uh, urban farming, mutu analima mboga, sijuina nina nina, and survive. How right. do I? So, so, so that, that our content is multi. It's not just one. And, uh, and, and this means, uh, like you said, we must segment our audience. Right. Understand media, even ownership programs. Right. I mean, uh, who owns media in our country? Who has access? If you brought a program, for example, in Luya, and you brought a program on radio at eight, who will listen to it? Radio yeah. is largely a male on the uh, document. Audience, so yeah. when men go to... And uh, mostly Luya, in fact, uh, you're yes. targeting the Luya community uh, uh, yes. now. And in the formula, right. when they go fishing, they go with the radios in the lake. Right. So if you do a program at six in the morning that targets women, they will not get it because the radio has gone away with the man. Right. So, so we must already also start thinking about delivery, content delivery. You right. do a good program, yes. But maybe is this program relevant to the people I'm targeting at this time? So we right. might have to go back sometimes to recorded programs. And people like BBC, Voice of America have a lot of these recorded programs. Good right. program that targets school going children can right. only be watched on weekend or after school. So it can be recorded and delivered at that time. So we also need to, to understand those audience dynamics so that then uh, we stop these things of Mpenzi Musikilizaji. There's nothing called Mpenzi Musikilizaji. I'm a Mpenzi Musikilizaji wangu. That's not journalism. Musikilizaji ni musikilizaji. Hakuna mpenzi. You don't put emotions in journalism. Mwanze kuhita watu watu mpenzi musikilizaji. They say you personalize your viewer. Never. Ata kuletea kuku wapa tukuyo ni utatoroko. Mwita mpenzi wako. All right. The thing is that we must gradually start also understanding the changing dynamics. Right. Continuously invest in research. Right. To understand what our audience needs. Right. Changing over time. There's right. now a whole debate, for example, on climate change, on the blue economy. These were not programs that were there when KBS was starting. It was not yeah. a major thing at that time. Yeah. So currently, the discussion around blue economy, discussion about climate change, mental yeah. health are current exactly. things. Yeah. So are you guys who are doing programs or alive to those facts that there yeah. are new demands, emerging issues that people want to hear? New or trends, are, yeah. including um, podcasting as well. Yes, one of the trends but some of us are still stuck program. with yeah. very old, you know, old programs that tulifanyanga hivi. Hapa, this is what tulifanya hivi. So you are stuck with this, this is what tulifanya hivi. But you can't do that in an emerging world. So that, that, that's what I'm talking about, creativity and versatility, that you need to pick what are the current things that people are talking about, what yeah. are the current needs of people, and you start noticing that, uh, that some of the time we start regaining audiences, we start gaining trust and relevance okay. uh, to, our, to our audiences. And, and that brings you to the issue of diversity, like uh, diversifying now. I, I know at mm. some point it will reach where you know, we'll have to ask for diversity funds where we, we will be able to do our programming that you said is not just giving our audience what we want, but we are giving them an alternative as compared to what, we, what they're used to consuming. How can we ensure that comes in place? You know, uh, you just flout rules, you journalists again, because if you read the Kika regulations of 2009,
getting different people. Include marginalized. So, 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 uh, and it's good for even the media houses to bring. The houses that while we are watchdogs and watching others, but in media of this mass give you money to give to a do that fund so yeah. the government can support right. the industry is making it will go but 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 other countries have done it of supporting even the South media. Africa as well. Yes. Even the UK is among the top countries yes, that they, has done that. They support you know. the people. They you know, one of the things, Brian, uh, if you want a house in Bungom, do you go for the loan first or do you do a, a business proposal? I have this thinking, but I lack funds. Right. Because I to be the first thing before yeah. you do anything i don't have a pressure story sina pressure think through about the story first right think through. there are people who support those things right. there are now so much funds on climate change on the blue economy on mental these things including right. even government and other players but we start with saying we don't have funds so we don't think right. think first come up with a proposal media council has been given our grants for journalists to do stories other yeah. players are in control and Cancer Institute, NHIF, they are working and giving. I know. I mean, we have been giving out grants for climate for that. So, the and even the people from KBC right, yeah. have won yeah. here. JHCR are giving out funds. Right. So journalism must also become, and that's one area we want to invest in: the issue of proposal writing. Right. How do you uh, put Pitching. a pitch right. a story that can yeah. win your grant? Because that's an because we were newsroom without thinking about. We, we skills. Right. You know, yes. including voice and yes. like, incorporating journalists to train them on specific items in terms of
medium have a Uh, digital platform. To a different medium. They